I just wanted to demonstrate the new mass spec syncing feature that's going to be part of iLight 3. Uh, to demonstrate this, I've got two data sets. One is a trace element data set that was collected on a quadrupole, and we split the stream coming out of the laser, and we also collected magnesium isotopes in a new plasma uh, multi collector. So I'm going to load both of those data sets now. So I'll start with the trace elements. And now I'll load the multi-collector data, the magnesium isotope data. You can see both of those are loaded. And if we look at channels that are common to both data sets, so magnesium in this case, if we look at magnesium uh, 25 from the Agilent and from the new plasma machine, um, we can see that the two are offset and that's due to differences in the tube length and also differences in the computer clock uh, clocks for each mass spectrometer. But we can uh, apply an offset to those so that the two are synchronized and we do that via the new syncing feature. In this, uh, this window will pop up and it will allow you to choose which is the master instrument and then there'll be an adjusted instrument and the time waves for the adjusted instrument are all have the offset applied to them. So I'll just use magnesium 25 for both. And you can see when it first comes up, it has not correlated correctly, um, but we can just drag that now and it'll snap automatically to the best correlation. Click done and we can see in the window here that it has now, um, it has now synced the two. There's some interesting features when you start looking at this and you can see different washout times and you can see that the quadrupole data records a lot more higher frequency variation than the Faraday's on the multi-collector. But overall, you can see the same features in each uh, of the runs as you would expect. Like for example, here you can see this very sharp signal decrease is present in both mass spectrometers. And if we want to get rid of this uh, offset, we can just remove the sync offset and we'll go back to the original the original time waves. So hopefully this will come in useful. Um, we'll be discussing this at the iLight workshop and it'll be a feature in iLight 3.